Yeah, I'm famous. You could be famous. <laughs> and I will get the kitchen another time there. Oh. All right. Well, we're gonna make this quick because we're we're very fortunate to be able to see this. This is not open during normal hours. The ranger guy happened to be here and he opened it up. We're at the Gerald House Plantation. Or the, I'm sorry, the Gerald Plantation site. It's an historic site and. Um, we're in, there's a bunch of houses, it's like a little village. I mean, these people lived here for, since 1847. This is called the 1847 house, built in 1847, obviously. And it's quite extensive. There's an up, upstairs to it. Um, and that's pretty extensive. But the guys, uh, this guy came from North Carolina with his wife. His father, excuse me, gifted him this land. And he came down and he, he made the most of it. He built this house, raised 12, 13, 14, 15 children somewhere in that area, and uh, had this big old house. I mean, he must have had money. It must have been more than just the land. But uh, this, was, this was part of a, a general store that they ran at one point um, on this back porch area. Um, that was after. This is been owned by the family since the beginning it was given to the state of georgia in i believe 74 and they still own this great big old house they call it the 1920 house um but uh, this is just really exciting to be able to see these are all original furnishings furnishings owned by the family given to donated to the state with with this uh with this house with this whole, all this property, all the furnishings you see in here, 90% are original, they say. So, it's very exciting. So, you go out here. Um, right. There's a little sign they call it the 1847 house. You know, like a hardener, of course, they decorate the house. And I think they would do a little stuff. You know, their clothes are really good. Yeah. So, they have a lot We're going to go out and see the uh, the exterior. It's really exciting. The the original fireplace stones are halfway there, and that's pretty amazing. This is all original wood. There's a little bit of it's been replaced. These stones that are holding everything up, those are original. Placed in 1847. I mean, that's that's just exciting. And here's the uh, original fireplace. It's original all the way up to the top of where it meets the brick and the brick was placed in 18 or no, i'm sorry 19 1950 um to uh to replace what had been it collapsed apparently part of it collapsed but um yeah pretty pretty neat there's a kitchen area back here of course as we know from everything we've done before kitchens were almost always separate in these old houses because the fire just caused fire, they could just drag it away from the main structure before that main structure burnt. So, and then they could, you know, easily replace a small area like this. So all the cooking would have been done in here. Uh, at, at one point, and I'm not sure if it was the beginning that the guy said, but I forget. But he said he owned. Um, there were 19 slaves employed here, and of course they would have done, you know, a lot of the farming and. and that sort of thing. This is the smokehouse that goes to this. So this would have been the original area right here. Before the rest of it was done, this big huge village that we see here with all these original buildings down the hill, uh, this was done. These buildings here were done. Um, this is the oldest log house, log building, log building still standing here. Um, so these original logs. I mean, that's hardy, man. That is hardy. This is a smokehouse, a flower pit out back, chicken house over here. You gotta keep your chicken safe. And uh, and you got the outhouse. So apparently there's all the acres. He, there were 100 acres, 100 acres, and it wound up growing, I think. Uh, well, much more than that. I'm not sure the exact number he mentioned, but I didn't necessarily catch it. But this is 
really exciting. I mean, it's really just interesting to me to have these original uh, stones here. And you can see that some of them would have been reinserted over the years. And that ground underneath has not seen the light of day for almost 200 years. And that's pretty, that's pretty compelling. Very exciting, very exciting stuff.